So, I won't be talking about uh, ports to hardware architecture for a change. Uh, well, there hasn't been much progress on, on this area anyway. Um, but there are also too many ports in, in this case. But uh, instead, I will be talking about the, all the many projects I tried to port or wanted to port or successfully ported for some to a uh, haiku. Uh, so yeah, it's there, there are quite a lot, uh, and I probably forgot some. So um, you can say there's too many ports, too many ports. So yeah, uh, 10 years of porting stuff to BOS. Uh, back in the days, uh, we had tables, zip files, CVS. And if we were lucky, we could also even have subversion. Uh, but it was stuck slow because um, the older subversions uh, wanted to put small files everywhere. So <coughs> uh, not really BFS compatible. <coughs> uh, and we made the patches the hard way, like diff uh, from an original copy and well. Uh, and of course, each project <coughs> is its own stuff. Uh, the software, uh, the source control management is not the same. The you, need you always need to um, specify shared variables, export, blah, 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 uh, in order to find some libraries you need. Um, and of course, either it's dot slash configure or CMake or whatever. Um, and so when you work on many ports, you have to remember all this. Um, and it's actually uh, easy. So um, um, it's been like 10 years also um, porting stuff to Haiku. Uh, it started as hard. Uh, but then we got tools like ha Haiku Porter, uh, and then came package, man package management, uh, which makes things a lot simpler. Like you don't have to remember where did I put this dependency, uh, where did I install the headers, and whatever. Uh, but still, when you are actually working on the port, like changing code and trying to compile several times, it can be a bit slow. So. Um, um, well, when working on the port, you want to, to just do stuff directly. <coughs> uh, at least Haiku is easier to fix than POS. Uh, I recall having to uh, uh, fiddle with uh, MMAP stuff in POS. It was uh, awful. Um, so um, I long ago, I wrote some shell script uh, stuff uh, to um, take care of some things from me. Um, so um, basically, um, you get a dev function, uh, which completes to uh, the, the the available projects you have. Um, it just um, takes a, a folder, and uh, for each subfolder, it you if you have a, a dos dot profile file, then uh, it means it's an active project. Uh, so you com can complete uh, the project names, and we it will just uh, source your project file the product's uh, profile, uh, and switch to uh, local bash history. So you can actually uh, remember, uh, what did I do on this project last, last time? That was maybe two years ago, but you still have the history uh, that's not been lost. Uh, and uh, icing uh, on the cake, you also get the, the update action, the default update action for this project uh, as last History common. So if you get to a, a project which uses Git, you have the Git uh, fetch or Git update. You can also overwrite the default action for for this. Uh, it all automatically checks uh, for .git, .git or .svn or uh, other uh, placeholder uh, folders. Uh, so you don't have to bother with it. Uh, it doesn't really handle um, uh, secondary arc. Directly, you have to export path equals slash bin slash x86 column blah blah blah. Um, uh, but then there are, has, there are some pending changes uh, about it, which uh, mm, uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, um, is uh, on um, PKG, um, PKG config, yeah, I think. 
which it wants to uh, to use get arch to uh, find the default uh, path, so uh, it might break uh, with the current way of doing things. Uh, I'm thinking to porting it to ZSH because well, I ported ZSH, but uh, I still don't use it. Uh, I might switch at some point uh, in the future. Um, I also use org mode, which is um, a s special mode for Emacs, uh, which li lets you handle uh, to-do lists and many other things. Uh, so here you, ha you have um, my haiku shell. I just uh, font size. Yeah. So that's the many projects I have on this machine. Um, I switch to QEMAX. Yeah. Um, so QEMAX is a small uh, Emacs implementation. And so basically, uh, you can actually uh, um, move things around and uh, um, create um, bullet points, lists, and everything. Um, and you have uh, shortcuts to uh, change things to to do from from to do to done, and um, you can list things this way. Uh, so I might want to integrate this uh, at some point. So uh, my huge project list, uh, and that's only the the haiku specific stuff. Uh, so I made some uh, nice Unicode art uh, to to. Uh, sum up the, the current status for each of them. Uh, so the, the um, camembert is just uh, how much uh, compiles and works, uh, possibly. Um, the losange is whether it's in haiku ports or, or not. Uh, it's not always my own work, but uh, I try to uh, check uh, all of them. Uh, and uh, the arrow is the upstream uh, status, whether the patches were sent and accepted. Um, uh, first, the uh, attic, the stuff that I don't think I will ever work uh, on again. Um, so they, I just moved them away um, from the, the default folder. Uh, Bepo, that's a, <coughs> a script I, I wrote to generate the, the first uh, Bepo key map for Haiku. That's the French uh, Dvorak equivalent. Uh, and then Adrien fixed, fixed it quite a bit. Uh, and now it's uh, in the haiku tree uh, and it works. But I, I still didn't uh, switch to Bepo. Well, I should. Uh, BZ flag, yeah, that's a um, 3D uh, game. I ported long ago to BOS. It used to work in Zeta, but uh, I don't really know uh, what's the status uh, now. Uh, Kaya, well, um, well, whatever. I, I never used it. Uh, CFE, that's uh, that's funny. Yeah, it's it's a firmware used in the uh, Amiga X thousand board, um, which uh, I wanted to port Haiku to to it, and I found it used this obscure firmware, uh, so I added support for it in the Haiku loader, and then I found oh, they actually load an open firmware uh, payload to uh, just start Linux. <laughs> okay, well. Uh <coughs> Seaway uh, SSL, um, yeah, it's an alternative uh, SSL library. Um, I fixed some stuff. I it used to work on Haiku, but uh, I don't know the status now. Uh, it's a bit um, simpler than the other, other alternatives. Mm -hmm. uh, possibly, or there's a fork or something. I, I, yeah, I recall uh, seeing this. Uh, yeah, that's something I never really touched. Uh, DMI decode works. Uh, it's in Haiku ports. Uh, basically, it just examines the BIOS uh, tables for battery info and that kind of stuff, but more um, like inventory uh, data, like what's, uh, what's inside the machine and uh, which port it has and the physical layout of the motherboard. So you could actually say, oh, um, remove this, uh, this card on the third slot. Um, yeah, if you want. Uh, yeah, that's I never really touched. Uh, KeyBuild, um, it's used by uh, VirtualBox, uh, so I had to uh, to port it for to work on virtu VirtualBox. Uh, I don't think it's. I'm not sure it's really useful to make a recipe for for it, because the binaries are in VirtualBox uh, source tree. 
NVDA, it's a um, screen reader for um, blind people, uh, but it's for Windows. Uh, there's an alternative which is called Orca uh, for GNOME desktop. <coughs> uh, it's probably better to port this one because it's, uh, it has a cleaner separation because there is an engine uh, which uh, actually um, uh, introspects the, uh, the GUI to um, spell what's on screen, to describe the menu and whatever. Um, and then there is. Well, it depends how it, its architecture. I mean, uh, the 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 part that builds the the GUI description and everything has to interact with the native uh, widgets. So, yeah. But well, I I have looked at it some some day maybe. Uh, parallel BZIP two. Well. I just checked it out uh, if anyone wants to try porting it. Uh, secure RM, uh, this one works. At least the tests uh, work. So, <coughs> uh, BCC was used by VirtualBox for building the, the BIOS uh, images. See you. Uh, but now they are using yeah. uh, the Open Whatcom um, compiler. So. Uh, and many other things I forget. Uh, yeah, current projects now. Uh, Aronim. Aronim is a virtual machine uh, which emulates uh, an Atari compatible machine, like the ST, STE, and Falcon line. Um, I use it to start the M68K port. Um, and it used to work, uh, but uh, I wanted to write a recipe uh, yesterday, and uh, I noticed they just broke the build. Well, actually, it compiles on Linux, so uh, I updated the automate package, but it didn't really help. Well, I'll have a look at it uh, later on. Uh, Bitland, that's not exactly a project. It's more, it was more like a group of uh, BOS developers at some point, and they uh, just had some various uh, projects. Uh, we had some patches around, but they were really, uh, those were really antique stuff. Uh, Be Happy. Be Happy was a, uh, is a French uh, started project. Uh, it's a documentation browser for the BOS API and BOS user guide and many other things. Uh, I converted it to uh, use NetSurf as a replicant to navigate the, the, the HTML documentation. Uh, but then the documentation parser must be uh, rewritten because the documents we generate don't, don't have the same structure as the BOS uh, files. B share, yeah, I, I just made some little changes, but it seems um, someone also made the same changes before I upstreamed it. <laughs> uh, Seek life, well, yeah, that's an old tool. Uh, there are some better tools now. Uh, Quantic is a uh, funny operating system for C64 computers and uh, Internet of Things objects like uh, sensors, uh, uh, sensor nodes. Uh, there's an, an NCURSIS um, interface, so you can actually compile it on a PC uh, to see how it looks and to develop stuff. So uh, I, I had some fixes for running, uh, running it on Haiku. Uh, and not, of, not all of them were accepted, but well. Uh, CPM is a console password manager. Uh, I tried porting it, uh, I think. Oh, no, I, I ported another one. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really need to uh, switch to a password manager sometime. Uh, Sysync is part of the uh, own cloud client, uh, the, the default client for uh, Linux and other platforms. Um, I really didn't uh, have a look at it yet. I just uh, cloned it. Uh, don't worry. Uh, well, it was an antique plugin for BID. Uh, it should be probably be simpler to just implement it directly in P, I suppose. Uh, GTC is used by the ARM and uh, PPC ports to um, generate the device tree uh, binary blobs from the, the source files, like for um, the Raspberry Pi and everything. It describes the hardware, the, um, the uh, register addresses, and stuff like that. 
so when building Haiku for these platforms, we need uh, DTC. So now it runs on Haiku as well. Uh, X2 uh, tools, well, I needed libuuid for some other projects I even don't even recall. Uh, but then they moved it somewhere else, so I started fixing C89 stuff. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, this one I looked at um, for the M68K port. Uh, well, eSpeak. Uh, eSpeak is a speech synthesis uh, tool. Um, it works offline. That means you can actually pass it a sentence and it will actually produce a web file that you can play uh, right after on. Uh, but then it doesn't really work correctly when using the live audio. So um, it's used like by Orca or uh, NVDA to uh, actually spell the GUI description. Well, it can be uh, because there are some better ones, but uh, it's not too bad for five minutes, say. <laughs> Uh, FFmpeg, yeah, I have like five or six uh, checkouts of this. I really <laughs> need to clean that up. Um, <coughs> fish, uh, some people worked on fish. Yeah, I had a look. Uh, flash ROM, I used Flash ROM to fix a badly flashed BIOS uh, once. Uh, I started porting it. Uh, I well, I still need some PCI uh, stuff to actually access the, the, the PCI bus. But apart from that, it should not be too hard. Uh, that's just some attempt of, uh, I just sometimes see, uh, oh, this could be an int interesting project, but it's not really finished anyway, so. Uh, Fossil is used by uh, Tickle TK um, as a source control management. So I had to port Fossil first to work on Tickle TK. Uh, and that should be a smiley over there, but it seems, well, it works on this screen, but not this one. <laughs> Weird. Uh, Gambas, yeah, that's another project I stumbled upon. Uh, it's um, some GUI um, toolkit for uh, basic interpreters and stuff like that. Well, I would say, uh, I just saw it, it and it was... Yeah, 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 probably. Uh, I, I heard about it at the conference or uh, also. And well, most of it compiles, so um, well, we'll see later. Uh, yeah, ah, yeah, that's just something I checked out while working on GCI. Uh, Gnuki. Gnuki is actually used to synchronize uh, the antique mobile phones, uh, like the Nokia one with a pop, pop port connector. The one you had the yeah, yeah. I actually ended up uh, crafting my own pop port, uh, pop port connector with some plastic and some wires. It worked not too bad, except uh, Gnocchi uh, couldn't talk to this one correctly. Uh, but then I found Gamu, uh, and Wemu is uh, the GUI uh, fr front end, uh, which actually works uh, much better uh, on this old phone. Uh, so I might actually want to port this, but well. It's not so much useful anymore. Uh, yeah, I tried to reverse engineer the Gobi format, but like, well, I looked at it one day and just forgot about it. <laughs> well, I, st I st still have some files I would like to be able to, uh, to get in an open format just for posterity. Uh, yeah, I had a look at this, um, but some people uh, worked quite a lot on this. So I don't have uh, the need anymore. Uh, Gophernicus uh, is a Gopher server. So you can, uh, there are still people who actually use Gopher. Um, there's a, a new Gopher uh, root server, and well, you can find interesting stuff. Uh, I even wrote uh, a Gopher to OpenStreetMap gateway. So you can actually navigate uh, OpenStreetMap, uh, put a query uh, uh, with it, an address, and it would show the, you the, the tile. Uh, the part of the map that corresponds to this address. And you can navigate left, right. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, basically, that was to also to test uh, the n the my NetSurf uh, branch f to implement Gopher, <laughs> which never actually um, went into the, the official branch. Uh, but well. Does everybody know what Gopher is here? 
<laughs> yeah, basically, that's the ancestor of the, the World Wide Web. It was the predecessor of it. Uh, Grub, yeah, I added uh, multi-boot uh, support, well, par partial multi-boot support to Haiku Loader at, at some point. Um, so Grub can actually load Haiku Loader and pass it some information, uh, but it lacks the, um, the boot, boot uh, partition info. So basically Haiku Loader uh, can't know where it was booted from, so it just uh, pop us the selection menu because it didn't uh, find the, the info. Uh, but apart from that, it, it actually works. Uh, haiku, yeah, I still have some uh, mangled uh, SVN clones around. I should really check that up. Uh, haiku portal, yeah, you all know what that is. Um, and yeah, I still have some, some stuff to upstream there. Uh, yeah, that's a nice tool. Um, it's uh, basically a native um, version of the xDialog tool that allows you to construct graphical interfaces uh, to be called from shell scripts. Um, yeah, that's uh, just some a, a few uh, C files um, I ported to a BOS um, back then to um, compare the context switch times and well. I wish I didn't. Uh, yeah, that's uh, mostly in uh, head now, although it's not really finished. Anyone wants to finish a, the, the T9 input method? Uh, that's a DNS tunnel tool. I, well, I just fix the, the patch uh, once in a while. I don't even use it. Um, ERC is an IRC client. Uh, most of my patches went in. Actually, I had to uh, clean all their messy configure scripts first because they said, oh, uh, Haiku, what's that? It's an obscure OS. It's not, it's not even POSIX. Uh, we don't care. Uh, well, actually, they still support HP UX, if you want. Supposedly, it's more POSIX than I Haiku. Uh, um, I think there's just the end curses uh, check that must be a stream. Um, and cleaned up first. Uh, JamVM, well, we already have a recipe uh, for JamVM, so uh, that's an old tool used by uh, NetSurf uh, parser generator. Uh, MPD, uh, Music Player Daemon. Uh, well, basically, it's a Unix-like uh, daemon which maintains a playlist and just uh, plays it um, uh, to the, uh, the, the uh, audio output. And people can actually log in with clients and say, oh, I'd like to put this one in, my in the playlist. And so it's a collaborative playlist, uh, if you want. And now it runs on Haiku. <coughs> Those are the, the command line clients and, and curses clients for it. Uh, LibRevenge, yeah, didn't really look at it much. Uh, LibUSB, yeah, I try to fix uh, stuff. Uh, on the old LibUSB, the 0.1 version, but uh, some people made a grand job um, porting the 1.0 version, so congratulations. Uh, LibXPM, yeah, I need this one for XEMAX to display the button on the buttons on the toolbar. So, um, and uh, basically, it pulls out all of uh, Xorg uh, as a, a dependency graph because it wants the uh, X11 allocator just to allocate the, the PixMap stuff. So uh, yeah, it's uh, annoying. Uh, links, uh, yeah, that's quite old. It's a text-based navigator web browser with a graphical interface. At least it displays graphics. Uh, yeah, it works uh, not too bad. Uh, the funny thing with, with it is the, the fonts are actually uh, PNG files. Each letter is a PNG file. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite huge. Uh, I also made some uh, nice looking icons for those. <coughs> Using a high iconomatic, of course. Uh, yeah, that I didn't look. Uh, yeah, that's a um, uh, uh, project. It's not really maintained for um, uh, universal dividend. It's basically um, um, fair money that uh, everyone uh, gets its own share of. Uh, so it's basically an experiment. Um, 
So I pointed it to Haiku. Uh, didn't look. Uh, yeah, that's part of uh, own cloud, but I still have to uh, port all of that. Mui. That's the uh, old mascot sitting on your windows. Um, and yeah, there's a recipe now. Uh, we had some troubles because uh, the original sources had attributes for to describe the location of the uh, the PNG files and everything. Um, and Git doesn't really know about attributes, so uh, you can't really version this stuff. Uh, so I had to um, change the, this thing a bit. Uh, yeah, I just cloned this. I don't remember why. That's an older GCI work. Um, quite nice. Uh, NetSurf uh, is a little web browser that I ported to BOS long ago. And well, it's uh, more lightweight than weight positive, but it doesn't do uh, as much. Uh, they are trying to add JavaScript support, so uh, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, I um, tried to port Nginx uh, for quite a while, but they had some weird use of um, non-standard stuff, like um, uh, the system error list, uh, all the error codes that we use. Uh, which we actually define as negative numbers. Um, most, uh, well, some Unix program actually uh, use a, s a list of the descriptions for those and uh, use the error code as an index into this array. But using negative index I indices in C is not really a good idea, especially when there are like minus two giga, well, so, but now it uh, kind of runs, so, um, if anyone wants to have a look, I can share the patches. Uh, actually, they might be, yeah, they are in Haiku port. Uh, OCP is a um, um, chiptune player, so basically all the mod files and uh, seed music files, all of those. Uh, there's an NCURSIS interface and uh, SDL uh, graphical, well, graphical interface with a nice uh, HVIF icon. Uh, yeah, that's um, a public SVN repository with demo sources and uh, software development kit for the Auric that I needed to port to Linux because the one who wrote it actually wrote it on Windows and used stuff like underscore open. Okay. Um, Oricutron is uh, an Oric emulator. It works quite well. Uh, OS Probe OS is used on Debian and Ubuntu to um, actually detect uh, other OSs uh, that are installed. So it's able to produce a, a boot menu with well, all of them and not just Linux um, in Grub. Uh, so I patched it to uh, detect the new uh, package management uh, installs because the, the paths uh, have changed. Uh, and there's a bug report and the patch has, patches are attached and uh, it just needs some people to test it to say, oh yes, it works for me too. And probably they will commit it uh, finally. Uh, open sound, open sound mostly works. Uh, there are still some annoying bugs uh, that, well, I'm not really inclined to fix because I don't need it anymore. I used it on my old laptop and, uh, well, at some someday maybe. Um, yeah, I just started this. Uh, pass, yeah, that's another um, uh, command line password store. Um, the interesting thing is um, uh, it's uh, test, um, uh, it's test actually uh, export uh, home, the home variable to uh, local folder and pass it to um, to git uh, and with uh, overriding overriding the the default user and other stuff the problem is it expects to only have effects on the local folder but instead it overrides the my own uh, account uh, in the, the the git configuration because well the our git port doesn't use dollar home but instead use find directory so um, <coughs> interesting uh, PCI utils, yeah, that's something I n uh, needed for Flash ROM. <coughs> Basically, it allows to um, uh, browse the PCI bus, and it's also uh, a library used by other tools to uh, set uh, PCI config registers. 
Uh, P, yes, that works fine. Uh, PRPC is an old Macintosh emulator, uh, PPC. Uh, well, it's not really maintained anymore, so... I think I should really um, push this patch if it's not um, in Haiku ports yet. Uh, that's some, yeah, it, it's a few uh, tools, uh, command line tools, basically a, a list of shell scripts like xdg open, uh, try to, they, they try to standardize things like uh, opening a URL on Linux uh, desktops and things like that. Uh, and some of those are quite straightforward to implement on Haiku. Uh, but, well, um, I did this long ago, so I need to check whether it's still active uh, or if they move things around. Uh, QMX I presented you uh, already. Uh, well, QMU, uh, I just checked it out, I don't remember why. Dido, um, yeah, that's a reverse engineering tool. So I uh, started the port. Uh, that was used by NetSurf, so uh, yeah, they don't use it uh, anymore. Uh, that's another IRC client, uh, but it's much simpler than IRC, so well. Uh, RTP dump might be uh, of more use to you uh, one day. Uh, basically, it just uh, dumps uh, an RTMP streams to a, a file, so you can actually uh, w get the, the, the video file. <coughs> uh, I still have a scanner at home, so uh, I might have a look at this uh, again at some point. Saying, scanner access now easy. Uh, screen, uh, there is an annoying bug in screen when it starts up, it basically um, uh, crashes or messes with the terminal, I'm not sure. Uh, but apart from that, it compiles. Uh, on SDL, I just wanted to uh, implement um, reading data from resources because uh, SDL exports some functions l apparently to uh, fopen and things like that, but uh, more cross-platform. Uh, which have some tricks, so I wanted to uh, let um, people bundle resources, game resources, in the binary, uh, but well, it's not finished. Uh, yeah, that's quite old. Uh, Shatag is an interesting tool. It um, makes a checksum of files and edits, uh, adds them to uh, attributes, so um, then you can compare the attributes instead of doing a full diff on the file each time. And with uh, haiku queries, that could be interesting to uh, to use. Uh, yeah, that's some other thing. M maybe f part of own cloud. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a v an emulator for very, very, very old computers. And yeah, it, it works in the terminal. And well, it, it's it's funny. Uh, Sleepyhead is a tool to uh, visualize data from uh, CPAP machines. It's uh, basically it's an air pump to um, force the air uh, to help you to breathe during the night when you have sleep apnea, uh, which I happen to have. Um, uh, so yeah, I tried the machine, but it doesn't really work for me. But at least it may be a it made me uh, work on Sleepyhead, and uh, well. Uh, I had the takeout uh, for some months already, and then uh, I noticed, oh, there are new uh, packages, Qt5, let's have a try. Uh, so yeah, um, basically uh, it starts up, but then crashes trying to uh, use OpenGL. Uh, so um, uh, yeah, didn't really look at it, uh, neither. Uh, yeah, I wrote some funny uh, plugins for Soundplay long ago. I should really make a recipe for those. Uh, Sphinx is a speech recognition engine. Basically, you can talk and it will try to write for you. Um, it's the old version. The new version are based on Java, I think. Um, yeah, well, some it works quite well. Uh, Supertux. Um, actually, I use Supertux and um, uh, eSpeak uh, during a, a workshop at RMLL uh, last year. Uh, the video is available, by the way, on the slides as well. So basically, uh, I guided people uh, in uh, getting the, the patch and uh, recipe uh, written correctly. 
Uh, so it's well, it's a, a game where you write tux uh, on a, a car and well, uh, well, that's old. That I don't have to care anymore. <laughs> uh, TQL, yeah, that's um, a language interpreter. Uh, it's used by some scientific software and many tools on old Linux uh, distributions. Um, the, the most important in thing with SQL is actually TK. And yeah, TK is, an is, is a GUI toolkit uh, designed to be used with TQL, but not only TQL, it's also used by Python. There's uh, a binding for Python. Uh, and I think, well, on BUS, I recall uh, compiling it uh, with uh, the X11 target, but it's it would probably uh, look quite ugly. So um, I started looking at uh, na native ports, but uh, well, I just started long ago. Uh, test disk. Um, I didn't really test it much, but uh, it's uh, it compiles. Uh, basically, it's a tool to. Uh, check for broken disks and try to recover data from, from them, uh, trying to detect partitions and uh, file headers and stuff like that, along with PhotoRec. Uh, theme Manager, that's an application I wrote um, in BOS and I ported to a Haiku uh, to allow switching uh, GUI colors and backgrounds and stuff like that, um, just with a single click. Uh, I'm e eagerly waiting for the, um, the UI color uh, branch to be merged because it could be uh, interesting to, to look at with it. Uh, yeah, I didn't really look, uh, neither. Under C, uh, I tried to port it long ago, it's a C++ interpreter. So it could be funny to have uh, scriptable applications, but I'm not sure C++ is the best language for it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, already merged in. Uh, Vagrind, uh, yeah, I started uh, porting it. Uh, it compiles up to the point where, where it wants to, uh, to use uh, ptrace, which we don't have yet. Uh, yeah, VirtualBox, I uh, started porting vit VirtualBox uh, quite long ago. Uh, and then I managed to get some of the uh, guest additions and uh, a lot more were done during uh, the, the summer of code in 2011. Uh, there are still some rough edges, so uh, I want to have a look at it, especially the SMP. Um, SMP doesn't work really, really well with it in VirtualBox, so uh, I, I have to uh, force a single CPU in my virtual machine. Uh, but apart from that, well, a clipboard sharing mostly works. Sometimes you have to restart the desk bar. But now with uh, the launch daemon, you just have to quit it and it's restarted automatically. <laughs> uh, Vibrant was a, a demo game written in the D language uh, that was released at the Ashimi party in 2009. Uh, I was there, so I watched it. It was uh, really uh, nice. Uh, so I had a look, but um, I think th since then, someone worked on the a D compiler, but I'm not sure. Uh, vision, well, I just wanted to add the IRC uh, URI, URI scheme, which um, uh, most chat at least supports. And well, it's not really standardized, but it's uh, quite interesting. Um, mm -mm, VNC viewer, I should really have a look at it again. Uh, web outside of browser, well, WeBoob is a collection of uh, web scraping uh, tools, so you can actually um, Pass it a URL and it will extract the video, or uh, you can actually uh, use it to um, uh, extract uh, data from, say, a CSV file uh, and uh, create like 200 tickets in uh, Redmine from this data, which is uh, quite funny. Uh, and there are many other backends, so you can make the web scriptable mostly. And there are still some Python modules to port, but uh, it kind of works already. Mm. Do you in the background? Mm, no, no. Um, it, it used to, um, uh, I think uh, it, it the um, previous uh, code was using uh, Mechanize, but they ditched that for, 
uh, they wrote the, the browser to implementation uh, is quite different and it's uh, much cleaner now. But I'm not sure what they are using um, below that. Uh, wget, yeah, um, I always wanted to have wget uh, save the, the URL. I was getting files from as an attribute, as it should be, but I uh, never got around to do it uh, well. If there's any taker, shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, that's something like SRM, but SRM works fine. So, uh, WX widget, uh, yeah, that's another toolkit I wanted to port, but uh, never really uh, did much. Uh, well, XEMAX, uh, yeah, I started the port long ago. It kind of ran uh, already in uh, BUS and Zeta. Uh, but that's mostly the current status. Uh, the it starts, actually uh, sometimes the window doesn't have get the correct size, uh, but mostly I'd like to get the, the buttons uh, look better, but that needs uh, libxpm, so. <coughs> X11. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the packages for Xemax because Xemax is just an operating system, so it needs some, some stuff to run. <coughs> and that, yeah, that's part of the dependencies from uh, libxor, uh, libxpm, uh, yeah, that's, uh, and all of them actually needed, uh, need use Python, and I had to figure out how to actually make the package correctly uh, for Python stuff to install it where I wanted, because in Python there are like three or four separate methods to make uh, packages where installable stuff. And all the default version actually uh, make user installable things like .egg or whatever. Uh, and if you actually want to install it the correct way, as in uh, the vendor way, you actually have uh, to pass a three kilometer long uh, option to the setup uh, .py, .py. So, uh, well. Yeah, packaging stuff in Python. Uh, yeah, and uh, well, that's some uh, antique uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ZSH, yeah, I should really switch to ZSH someday. Oh, not too bad, 42 minutes, whoa. So now you're really happy that there are only 26 letters in the uh, Latin alphabet. Okay, I hope uh, some people want to help on those projects because I don't have the time to do all of them. Uh, any question? Or are you still digesting your meal? <laughs> yeah? Uh, how many projects were added uh, to this list uh, during your presentation? <laughs> <laughs> well, you it was on, on Friday afternoon, it was about 30 slides. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just uh, picked the, 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 my dev root, the dev root folder on two or three machines and just pipe sort, pipe unique, <laughs> and I got the list. So, uh, yeah. And I probably have uh, about the same number on my Linux installed, so <laughs> yeah, quite a lot to do. Questions? Okay, well, thanks, and please help. <laughs> <laughs>